Bra. What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today I have 5 stories coming out of the subreddit Out of Work Your Lady. Leave a fire emoji in the comments and like this video if you are having fun. Congratulations Michelle for the comment of the day. Bra. I do work there, but I'm not there now. 45 years ago, I worked in a local store very similar to Walmart. It was only a few minutes walk from my apartment. The following conversation is recreated as best as I can remember. I was at home doing stuff because I was not on shift that day. The phone rings. A lady asked, what time does not Mart open? So being helpful, I answered what I thought would be a simple question. Store hours are from X to Y, ma'am. I can't get in there just now. Could you go look and see if there are any Acme widgets in stock and set one aside from me? No ma'am, I'm sorry, but I can't do that just now, I'm- Why not? I have you set things aside for me all the time. Why can't you just do your job? There may have been the standard threats of firing me and demands to get my manager. I don't remember anymore. I work at Not Mart, lady, but I am not there. You called my home. Ask for the hours, and to be nice, I told you. What do you mean I called you a home? Isn't this XXX1234? No ma'am, this is XXX9876. These were old dial phones, children, and it was not easy to make a mistake of that magnitude. I have no idea how she did it. The Karen movement had not developed yet, so to the lady's credit, she did apologize. I always wondered if she just didn't notice that I answered the phone with, hello? Instead of, not Mart, how can I help you? Wait, what store was that? 45 years ago is a long time to worry about rehire status. I kind of ask for it, but still. Once upon a time, I work in pest control. Despite almost killing me more than once, I did learn a few neat things there, including which pesticides were actually worth a damn, and which were little more than watered down water. Several years later, I was at a local lawn and garden hounding down the right blend of doomsday liquid to take care of a wasp problem on the other side of my eaves. After settling on a dozen or so cans of a particularly potent insta-kill spray, they must all die. I saw an older couple a few feet away discussing which spray to use on their yellow jackets. They picked up a spray designed for killing wasp nest above ground and were about to walk off when my inner bug murderer kicked in and I got their attention and asked if the nest was above ground or below. They said it was underneath their foundation. I mentioned that I'd been in pest control a while back and the spray they had picked up was just going to piss them off. I pointed them in the direction of some dust that will do the trick if applied at night. A little while later, I am grabbing some fertilizer that my wife needs and I hear a familiar, excuse me, it was the same nice older lady asking me about the best time to plant a certain flower. I explained to them that I don't actually work there and really have no idea. I just had a background in pest control and wanted to make sure they actually killed their yellow jackets without getting everyone stung. She understood and went on her way. A few minutes later, as I am dragging a wagon full of wasp sprays and fertilizer around, odd combination, I hear another, excuse me, this time it's her husband, and he asks why I did not help his wife, or at least send over someone who could. Apparently, they had to wait 15 minutes for someone else to come along, and he was not the least bit happy about that. I explained to him as well that I am just a customer who happens to know enough about pest control to know when someone's making a bad decision. He was not having any of it and insisted to speak to my manager. I saw an employee wearing a name badge not too far away and said, excuse me, do I work here? She looked at me like I was crazy and said, no. I replied, thank you. And the gentleman suddenly became very apologetic, thanked me for my help with the pest control and went on his way. No harm done. Hardly laughs for myself and the employee when I explained why I had asked that question. I have not offered friendly advice to older customers since. Heartfelt apologies for adult worker lady is my favorite thing. And ignoring people when they say they don't work here is my least favorite thing. Sorry I don't work here, but Merry Christmas. This just happened today. Well, technically yesterday. I decided I needed to go out and buy some groceries for the week. What completely slipped my mind is that today was the day before Christmas Eve. I blissfully hop into my car and make my way to the big blue store that greatly values their value. It is not until I see the parking lot that it dawns on me. This place is packed. I find a parking spot. 
take a deep breath and make my way inside. I grab a card and start pushing through the crowd. The first few items on my list are things we need around the house. Cleaner, wrapping paper, tape, etc. I figure I should get those first before I get the food. I make it to the hardware section and find the adhesives aisle. I decide to leave my card near the end of the aisle, tucked to the side so it is not in anyone's way, but also so I don't have to maneuver it past everyone that's standing around. I should explain at this point that I am wearing black sweatpants and a black shirt. I may look a little generic, but I don't look like an employee. At least, I think I don't. I begin walking down the aisle when I notice a confused woman, who I will refer to as CW, staring directly at me. I keep walking and my intention is to walk past her to where the tape I need is located. Excuse me? I keep walking at this point, thinking maybe she just said, excuse me, since I was walking by her, but she repeats herself, excuse me. I realize she wants to speak to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not realize you were trying to get my attention. Is everything okay? Do you know anything about repairs or just fixing things in general? Uh, I'd like to think I am fairly handy. Is there something I can help you with? She then proceeds to tell me a story about her and her daughter trying to mount one of those phone holder things for your car that attach to the air vent clips. Apparently, they press too hard and it caused the vent to break and get pushed into the dash. She said she could put it back out but wanted to glue it back in place. We chatted for a bit, talking over options like looking up replacement parts online. She seemed confident in her desire to find a solution and fix it herself. We settle on the slow drying epoxy that should not damage the dash or plastic vent and is very strong when dry. Well, I hope everything works out. That stuff is strong, so you should not have any trouble with the vent once it is dry. Thank you. I hope it works too. I really appreciate your help. With that, I turn back towards the owl and find the adhesive tape I was looking for, then start making my way back to my cart. That's when I hear this. Wait, sir, do you work here? I turn around and see it is the same woman addressing me again. Oh, no, sorry, I don't. I'm just doing some grocery shopping. Her eyes are wide. I am so sorry. I thought you worked here in the hardware department. <laughs> I don't, but it's okay. I'm really just happy to help. And I do hope everything goes well with your car. Thanks, I do too. I'm sorry for mistaking you, but thank you for helping me. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas as well. She smiled and did a quick wave, then turned and left the aisle. I think she may have been embarrassed, but she was very sweet and seemed very appreciative. And I really don't mind helping out strangers when they have questions, especially when they are polite. I know a lot of stories on this subreddit are people behaving badly, so I thought it might be nice to share this one. Nothing crazy happened, just a simple a pleasant case of mistaking identity that ended with a Merry Christmas. Well, that was kind of wholesome. Normally you get the dragon lady who wants to get you fired, especially at Walmart. My heart was pounding the whole time in suspense. I was absolutely positive that a second customer was going to snake your shopping cart while you were talking to the first one. I hate it when people try to steal your cart or just take things from it. It was not what I expected, but definitely in a happy ending, I'll take it, I love them. I just want to say on a quick note, if you like these Adam Worker Lady videos, whether they are crazy or wholesome, I cover a lot of them, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss another Adam Worker Lady video ever again and I will really appreciate it. Thank you. Guy thinks I work at Lowe's because I have a red vest on. This story about a year ago, so sorry if I can't remember details. My parents dragged me and my little sister to a Lowe's one day to get painting supplies. I wandered away and was on my phone. When I heard someone say, Hey you, can you help me? I need to find the owl with the bulbs. I was confused since there were no employees around. Then I realized I am wearing a red down vest, think the Marty McFly jacket, which is in color similar to the vest Lowe's employee wear. Sorry, I don't work here. Yes, you do. You're wearing the vest, aren't you? I am just wearing a red vest. I'm not even old enough to work here. Where I live, you need to be at least 14 to work and at least 16 or 18 to do heavy lifting jobs. And I was 13 at that time. Please, you're just making stuff up. You look old enough and put your phone away when a paying customer is talking to you. I don't have to do any of that because I don't work here. I put my phone in my pocket and start to walk away. 
Not a minute later, do I feel a hand on my shoulder, and I spin around to see the guy, very angry and yelling. You will take me to the light bulbs, or I will see that you're fired. Where is your boss? I would inform him of your rudeness. Suddenly, an idea springs to mind. Of course, sir. Right. This way, I walk towards the paint aisle where I am praying my family is. I can't exactly talk to this guy, so maybe my parents can. Adults respect adults, not teenagers, right? I find my mom in the paint aisle and walk up to her with crazy guy right behind me. Hi there, Mrs. Mom. This man would like to have a chat, saying that I am a bad employee. My mom can definitely smell the bullcrap, but the guy speaks before she does. Yes, your employee was being very disrespectful. She refused to take me to the light bulbs and even claimed that was not an employee when she was wearing the uniform. I'd like for her to be terminated. The guy just stands there with a smug face and my mom kind of understand what's happening and is just done. Look, I don't know what you're on, but my daughter does not work here. Her vest doesn't even have the damn store logo, nor is she of age to work. Stop harassing her, please. Uh oh, mom. This sets him off even more than before and yells even louder about how she was my boss and was just covering for me and we'd both be fired for blah 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 blah. This time, a real employee hears and asks what's going on. I could tell the employee everything while seeing the crazy guy get redder and redder. The employee tells him that I obviously don't work here and that he will be escorted out of the store if he doesn't apologize. The crazy guy yells some more and security comes to get him. The employee apologizes profusely and offers us a discount on our total purchase. We took it, got our paint and met up with my sister and dad in the plant aisle. My mom told my dad what happened and my parents chewed each other out because they thought the other one was watching me. We got over it an hour later, went for ice cream and we shopped for paint and hardware at Home Depot now. Lady shoves me into the counter when I won't get her a drink. This happened not too long ago. I was at the local club in my town because there was an event happening. I didn't want to join in the event, so I went into the club to read and as I was reading, this lady, I will call her Karen, yanks my book out of my hands. The conversation went something like this. Me is me, K is Karen. Excuse me, you should not be reading while working. Uh, what? You do realize I don't work here, right? Yes, you do. Now get me a drink or I will talk to your manager. Ma'am. I already told you, I don't work here. You would have to wait for the bartender to come back. You know what? I will knock some sense into you. She shoves me into the counter. Lady, I don't work here. Now wait for the bartender to come back or leave me alone. Karen realized that if she did not leave, I will tell a worker so she walked off, muttering something about bad customer service. You can push me all you want, you can hit me, you can spit on me. Nah, it's something. But if you take my book out of my hands, Ooh, that's the end for you. You might have a nose now, but you won't have a nose later. Check out my playlist right here for I Don't Work Your Lady videos. If you can show me some support by liking the video and subscribing, this will mean the world to me. Also hit the bell button to know when we post a new video and join the notification gang. Thank you again for watching this episode of I Don't Work Your Lady. See ya!